Hey guys, it's Grizzly Goat here, and today we're continuing our series of counters and collaborations with Castle. As per usual, I'm going to remind any brand new viewers of this series to watch this video first to get a solid understanding of my choices. Alright, let's get this poor graph no elites getting started. So, just to clarify, Castle has no specific direct counters, unless you believe he has one, and if you're one of those people, let me know in the comments down below. But, Castle's gadget does not directly affect other operators' gadgets. But, Castle does deliver a hard counter, and that is to Amaru. Despite her most recent buff, Amaru will still be unable to grapple through Castle's armored panels. So, while not the best counter for Amaru, it will still slow her down to make her pick other options. Now moving on to the soft indirect counters that Castle delivers, our first group of operators include Glaz and Blackbeard, two operators who are very strong at holding on power positions and angles. Some of you might be thinking that Glaz counters Castle, but you might be forgetting that Glaz does not affect Castle in any way anymore. Glaz no longer can destroy or even shoot through Castle's armor panels, but nonetheless, Castle make it much harder for these attackers to fill their role. The next group of operators we have include Montaigne and Blitz. These two operators, shields, heavily rely on freedom of movement. While Monty relies on gaining foothold and position and objective, Blitz's job is to be the frontline pusher, and if Castle blocks these doorways and windows, it will be much more difficult for these operators to function at full capacity. Another gadget that Castle inflicts with is Yana's Gemini Replicator. While drones can still go under Castle's door panels, unfortunately, Yana does not warp through the panels. The last operator that Castle counters might require some thought for you to understand, but in this case, it is Nook. When Nook's gadget is activated, you don't want much to do other than moving around. And when Nook encounters a castle barricade, she has to either find a new route or give away her position. With the counters out of the way, now you move on to our collaborations. Castle is a very popular collaboration with Mira, creating a ton of strats, especially at the higher level, nicknamed Castle Mira Strats. Combining Mira with Castle gives defense a huge capability to shift the map in their own favor. You just gotta know what you're doing, though. The next collaboration we have with Castle is with our projectile deniers, Jaeger and Mai. When some barricades can be seen from long lines of sight, the attackers may forget to drone out or check any gadgets that might get in their way from blowing up that panel. Other great collaborations include Mute, Kaid, and Mozzie. Every operator in this group collaborates a little bit differently though. As we went over in the Mute video, Mute is the best one to use out of these three in this situation. Because Mute not only denies drones, but denies any remote explosives like breaching charges from destroying the panel. While with Kaid, you need to pair him with barbed wire in order to make this function properly, since you cannot directly shock the panels. Putting shock wire under an armored panel denies drones from entering, or they'll be destroyed. Now, you can do this with Bandit, but the batteries can easily be seen and destroyed not only from bullets, but from twitch drones as well. So using Bandit is not the most practical way to approach the strategy. But, moving on to Mozzie. Mozzie is another extremely good way to prevent drones from entering sight. Now, you might be questioning, how does Mozzie collaborate with Castle? Well, with Castle, drones cannot see through the barricade, so they won't be able to see what's going on inside. Unless they drone further, and by that point, Mozzie now owns that drone. So, while not something that you'd directly strategize for, it is something to look out for. Now we move on to two secondary gadgets that passive-aggressive castle playing can benefit from. On one hand, C4s are especially useful when you hear or know that an enemy is on the other side of the panel, because when you throw that nitro on there and detonate it, there won't be any noise anymore. Now as for the impact grenades, these are a great element of surprise that the attack will not expect. And lastly, we have Maestro. If Maestro places his evil eye on the exterior of the panel, he can protect the barricade from any deployable gadgets like cluster charges or breaching charges. Alright guys, that's all for Castle in this video. Next video, we'll be talking about Mr. Baldi. So stay tuned by subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified when that video drops. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and feel free to comment anything you have to say. And of course, have a nice day.